another task that you need to complete at the appointment is to have the seller initial the legal description. And so be sure to bring a legal description in your packet. That legal description ideally comes from the title company. If you can call the title company and have you send, it, send a legal description or pull the legal description from the uh, title report, that's the best way. Uh, other than that, if you can't get, get it that way, another method is um, a term called the last deed of record. So what you want to do is, uh, you could do it yourself by going to the auditor website and looking up recorded document searches and then pull, uh, entering that parcel number and then scrolling through and finding the, the last deed of record, the most recent deed that was recorded. Or you can call your title company and say, hey, I know you guys probably can't just whip out a legal description you know, without doing a title commitment. We're not gonna have enough time. Can you just email me the last deed of record, the latest deed of record, so that I can upload that as my legal description. So you can either use the legal description that's provided by the title company, or you could just use the most recent deed on record that includes the legal description. You wanna show that to your seller and say, does that look correct to you? Are we capturing everything that you're wanting to sell? And it's happened where they said, oh, we're, we're gonna sell lot 17, 18, and 19, this is just lot 17 and 18. There's actually the neighboring lot that goes with this property. We want to sell all three lots together. And you're like, oh, wow, I'm glad I asked. So I'll need, I'll need to acquire the legal description for the additional lot. So it's a good thing to ask them just to review that with the seller and then have them initial that.